Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video regarding setting up STP, uh, the BPDU guard. Very simple lab. We're going to set up a small topology and verify that. So basically configuring BPDU, very simple lab, but at the same time, you need to set the, the switches up to communicate. What I want to do over here is I want to have two switches over here connected to each other over the gig zero zero interface. That's going to be your trunk. We'll set that up. I've split up VLAN 10 with one port here, one port there, stretched it. And the same thing with VLAN 20, I stretched it across. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to enable the port fast feature on this all on all four interfaces, along with the complementary BPD guard feature. So just in case somebody does connect up uh, our switch to a port fast enable port, it will automatically block the loop by disabling the port. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is set the switching environment uh, based on that. Uh, let me show you what the, the PCs have. IP address is basically the same thing that you see over here. Uh, PC1 has 1 and 51.51, 2 has 2.52, which are these two PCs, which are both connected to switch 1, port 01 and 03. And then I have PC3, which is connected to the other switch over here, 1.53. And PC4 is connected to, uh, again, switch 2. This is port 1 and port 3, 2.54. I'm going to do the ping over here, but before that, let's go ahead and set the topology up for switching. So on switch one, I'm going to start by naming it switch one. I'm going to go to the zero zero port, which in my case is my trunk port. Switch port, trunk encapsulation, dot one Q, switch port mode trunk. I'll create my VLANs 10 and 20. While I'm on switch one, let's go ahead and configure switch one completely, except for the port fast feature. So we'll, which will, which I'll do together as part of the lab. I want to just set it up first. Gig zero one should be in VLAN 10. Gig zero three should be in VLAN 20. Let's go ahead and do that. Gig zero one, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20 or sorry 10 and gig 03 access and VLAN 20 show VLAN should show me that the two ports are connected to the two different VLANs switch one is done let's go ahead and configure switch two now start with the, the name oops oh switch two gig zero slash zero switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q switch port mode trunk all right, that takes care of that. Once this is done, now I'm going to go ahead and create my VLANs, 10 and 20. Go to gig zero. I believe it's also one and three. One is 10, three is 20. Same thing. Switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10, gig zero slash three. Switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 20. Show VLAN. 10 and 20 over there, done. So at this point, they should be able to ping each other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the ports down just to make sure that uh, port fast kicks in and does its thing. So what I'm going to do over here is have all the ports shut down for right now. Actually, yeah, shut down and then bring them back up. 0, 1, 0, 3, shut. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other guy. Shut. So the interfaces are shut down over there. The reason I want to do is do this is I want to start my continuous ping and see the before and after of port fast. So 1.53 is the guy that I want to ping. I believe if I type it in correctly, 1.53. How do I verify that I'm pinging the right guy? 1.53 is that one, but I uh, forgot to put the continuous ping over here. I want to do that. 1.53, and this guy, I want to ping 2.54. 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 2.54, 
2.54-t. So again, it's not working. I'll go to my switch, which is switch one. No shut. And switch two. No shut. As soon as I do that, if everything's hunky-dory, oops, wrong place. And my ping would take some time for it to kick in. Why? Because my port fast feature is not enabled. So this is without port fast. Okay. Now, if I do want to do port fast, I can do that. But this time around, I'm also going to enable the BPD guard feature with it, which I said is a complementary feature that I always want to have. But before I get into that, let me see the ping work first. There you go. Ping eventually works after the the listening and learning states have done their work. So it's working now. What I'm going to do in the meantime, go back to my switch, shut the ports again. This is two. And I'm still under the interface range one and three. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing to both ports. So what is what I want to do over here is I want to enable BPD guard on it along with the port fast. All right, port fast. Uh, if you don't have port fast on a on a port, BPD guard really doesn't matter because BPD guard is just preventing uh, in case of a port fast port receiving a BPD on it. Otherwise, listening and learning are there, so I would always be protected. So to do that, I'm going to do that on switch one first. I'm under the interface range of gig zero one and three, so I'm going to say spanning tree port fast, and then spanning tree. To enable the BPD guard feature, enable. So that enables it on both those two ports, which is gig01, gig03, VLAN 10, 20, both of them. And then I'll do the same thing over here because I'm still under the range. Spanning tree, port fast, spanning tree, BPD guard enable. It's just basically telling that port fast has been enabled. Make sure you're not connecting any uh, switch devices to it. So now it's enabled. I'm going to no shut it on both sides, and my port should come into forwarding state immediately. So let's check that. There you go. See the ping immediately comes up. I don't need to wait for the 15 and 15 seconds. And that's what the main objective is. Now, to verify this, whether the port fast has been enabled or not, that's what I've showed you guys over here. You can go in and check it port by port that it has been enabled on a particular port or not. So show spanning tree interface. In my case, it's gig 0 slash 1 detail. When you do that, it'll tell you both things, that the port fast has been enabled. The port is in port fast edge port, edge mode. Basically, it's connected to an edge device. And BPD guard is enabled as well. So if I receive a BPD over here, I should not get any packets. So if I receive a BPD over here, it's going to bring the port down. All right. Simple lab, just something that you should do on your networking environment, get the best of both worlds forward immediately. Don't wait. And at the same time, you also, uh, what do you call it? Protect yourself with the BPD guard. All right. On to uh, the next video. Now in this next video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, port channels. Thanks for watching. See you guys over there.